Good morning, everyone. We're gonna get out of the condo today and we're gonna do some exploring. I think we're gonna head up to International Drive. We're gonna see what's going on up there. It's been a minute since we've been there. Um, we're gonna grab a bite to eat for lunch because uh, we've been making all of our meals here in the kitchen. Lunch, yeah. So we're gonna go out and try, uh, you know, get something to eat today. Um, and I don't know, we'll see where we'll end up. And then tomorrow we're checking out and I'm not exactly sure which way we're probably heading back towards the Smoky Mountains. Anyways, Dawn, are you ready? Ready. Let's do this. Here on International Drive here at Icon Park. We're gonna see what we what kind of trouble we can get into uh, here. Haven't been here in a while, so we're gonna look around, see what's going on. But uh, we're gonna grab a bite to eat. And they have a sugar factory here. A lot of celebrities come here to get their, their sugar on. And we've been to the one yeah, in, Vegas. in Las Vegas. They also have one in downtown Detroit, too. You can see all the all your favorite celebrities. There's Adam Sandler. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's Pit Bull. Bull, isn't it? Might be. <laughs> I think that's Pit Bull. Okay. Anyways, no sugar factory today, right? Okay. Now, now we're on a mission to grab something for lunch and look around, see what's going on here. And here you can own the sky. The great Florida road trip. So we got a ticket for the wheel and sea life here at Icon Park. And it was $100.09 for both of us. I guess that's not too bad. Seems about $50 a person. So we have never done the big wheel here. Uh, and we've never done sea life aquarium so we're gonna do that today oh my goodness they have a, a mold a matic of the the wheel here at icon park well we we got to do that it's eight dollars huh that's probably one of the more expensive ones i've seen but it is it is a big one you see that This brings back a lot of memories when I was in the plastics industry. The mold will close up. It will then in inject the plastic into the mold and injects it. And that is probably one of the biggest modomatic motoramas I have ever seen. Look at that. Yeah. Hot, hot out of the, the mold, right? First, we're gonna go to Sea Life. I've never been to a Sea Life aquarium. I know they're they're all over. I know they have one up in Michigan, but this will be our first time. Oh, they're all made out of Legos. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Under the Sea Explorer Theater. Under the sea. Oh, wow, these guys are. Looks like they're having a good time. Like no. <laughs> they're like a sunfish, right? Or an angelfish. Sea life. And there's the back side of an eel. Wouldn't want to be on the front side. Technically, I want to be on any side. I don't know what it was. It kind of looks like a snapping turtle head, don't we? He's like, come on, get in my mouth. I'm hungry. 
climbed up in here to get a little closer to this guy. I'm like in one of these little these little baubles. Yeah. Well, hello, Mr. Eel. <laughs> you look grumpy. Oh yeah, the fish are absolutely amazing. All right. Well, I climbed down in here to get a closer look at that eel, didn't I? Yeah, it's a kind of fun aquarium. Those are like lionfish, right? I believe that's what they call them. Whatever's lying around, you don't want to step on them while they're lying around. Yep, and this is called the Ocean Caves. Oh, and I love clownfish, and there's a couple down there. <laughs> Dawn's in the fish tank. How'd you get in that fish tank? Oh my goodness. There's these little tiny jellies. They're about the size of, I don't know, like maybe like a half dollar or something, you know? These could be the babies. Wow. Pretty cool. First couple rooms were, were a lot of fun. They frown upon petting the fish. Do not pet the fish. What's this guy here? I think he might be another eel. Yeah, he looks grumpy. And look at the color of these anemones, right? Please make sure all lights and flashes are off. With a lot of our sea creatures, they do not have eyelids. Now you can't see it, but there's an octopus in there. I think he's sleeping. Look, why they move out of your way? A lot of them are big chickens of us. These are the type of fish you can find at your local pet store. These are cichlids. At least some of these are. They're always fun to look at. Kind of aggressive towards each other. I had one just like that, but he was like about that big. <laughs> I got a lot of interactive areas. A lot of little tunnels you can scoot through if you're younger. Or maybe, you know, Oh wow, that's, yeah, you can just crawl right through them. Oh, there's another eel in there. And to the Pacific Ocean. A little chocolate chip starfish. the size of that 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 puffer fish right he's big he's huge hello there mr puffer Oh, there he is. Well, hello. <laughs> oh. oh, there goes a huge stingray. I think it is a leather back. Yeah, there's another turtle up there. I think he's another leather back. Yeah, 
Glass show it bottom. Oh, yeah, there's a meal down in there, huh? I think he's a little too big for that pot. <laughs> kind of like Winnie the Pooh, right? Kind of, kind of like Pooh. Yeah, I do like the theming that are in these tanks. They definitely have a lot of eels in these tanks. And one of my favorite are the seahorses. It's floating around the tank. So this has been a really good aquarium. I like the interactive, and it looks like there's a, it's a projection of a snake. <laughs> to kind of give you that feel. Hello, Mr. Turtle. You know, so they have a lot of eels and a lot of turtles. So that's where you put your, your fish that's where you put your fish hooks after you're done with them. Oh, Something like that. So this is what the Everglades looks like. And exit through the gift shop. And now we're gonna head over to the wheel. It was nice. I was impressed. They have like a lot in here. And it's really small, but when you go in there, it's like a big giant circle. And it's kind of spacious inside. They had a, quite a bit of everything. They had a little bit of everything. Uh, they didn't have the real big sharks, though. But it was still fun, though. Yeah, yeah it was fun. And the wheel at Icon Park. Lots of uh, really cool t shirts. The Great Florida Road Trip. We've been to Pensacola, Panama City, Destin. We've been to Tallahassee, but we've never made a video there. We always are, we're always passing through Jacksonville. We love St. Augustine. We're going to have to go to Cross Creek. Uh, we've been to Ocala. Of course, in Orlando, Cape Canaveral. And we've been all the way down to Key West. Been through the Evergrade, Everglades. Didn't spend too much time in Miami. Kind of passed through. Tampa is another favorite area. We like to hang out in the, the Treasure Island area. And Happy New Year here at Icon Park. 2024 is here. That's our first time. It's, it's an oversized Smoky Mountain wheel. Look at the size of those gondolas and they have a little bar here so i guess you can have a drink it's it's like an oversized version of the smoky mountain wheel it's like five times the size of it it's huge it's it's kind of ridiculous ridiculous looking isn't it <laughs> and i guess you get your own yeah. now i imagine during busy times they probably wouldn't let you but we're gonna we're gonna get our own wheel we were in London, we rode the London Eye. Of course, we ride the Smoky Mountain Wheel all the time. We've ridden the one up in Niagara Falls. We've ridden, I think, one of the, I think we did the one in Myrtle Beach also. We've, we've did a lot of these. This one here is not, definitely not bigger than the London Eye, but it's bigger than the Smoky Mountain Wheel. It looks like we're gonna be number three here. Are you excited, Don? Yeah. All right. Okay. They open. Whoa. Ah. 
So obviously you can stand in this one. And uh, it looks like the one in, in Pigeon Forge, right? But it's just like oversized. Like, it's huge. It's huge. How's the air over there, Don? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, we got this whole thing to ourselves. Yes. Now, I believe this is the tallest observation wheel in the state of Florida. So. Yeah, wow, this is pretty cool. Now we've been we've been to Icon Park many of times, but we've never we've never ridden this because usually it's like a two hour wait, and you know what I mean. And it's just like eh, we don't want to wait around that long. So. And that's where we parked the car earlier. Yeah, Cape Canaveral, Miami, the Everglades, Key West. St. Augustine, I love St. Augustine. Daytona's fun too. There's, there's Universal's Volcano Bay over that way. Downtown Orlando, off in the distance. I don't know about riding that thing. <laughs> that, that's crazy. And way off in the distance is the Magic Kingdom. Kind of hard to see, but you'll see Space Mountain. Over there you have, that's Orlando straight ahead. And then there's Universal. It's all Universal over there. Islands of Adventure. Volcano Bay, and we're almost to the top. The top of Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips is the British flag, the old Union Jack. You can see the train running, running through there. And that's what we gotta figure out. Where are we going to eat is what we gotta figure out. And you can see all the Disney parks off in the distance. You see Epcot over there, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom's just over there. Very, it's very hard to see, but you can barely see the top of Space Mountain and Cinderella's Castle. The Contemporary, you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. And we are the next in line for the very top. And we are almost dead center. Well, Don, you are at the very top. You're at the top. Yeah, they have a umbrella sky down there. At the top of the world! <laughs> the space needle. Ah. Really good views from here. Orlando, Universal, Disney. Yeah. Wow. I was like put, picking at all, I was looking at all the hotels that we've stayed at in the past. Like we stayed at that country inn and suites over there. We stayed there at one of our visits. Um, I think we stayed in a comfort inn over there. And then our condo's all been up um, here um, Celebration. That's where we usually get our condos, but there's a lot of lakes. Many, many years ago, I stayed at that hotel. I went to Nationals for DECA back in high school, and that's, that's where it was held. Well, it was held in the convention center, but we stayed there, and back then it wasn't, it was called the Omni. That mini putt-putt looks fun. Pirate's Cove. Yeah. 
that over there was or is the world's largest McDonald's. I'm, I'm not sure if it still holds that title, but at one time it did. Ripley's, believe it or not. And years and years ago, that used to be a Peabody. Now it's a Hyatt. They used to have the ducks on the roof, just like the one in Memphis. And every morning they'll come down to the elevator and swim around the fountain. And shame that it's not here anymore. And SeaWorld. Oh, It's got 64,000 changing LED lights, family friendly. It's Bluetooth capable, 400 foot tall. It is the tallest wheel in the East Coast. Uh, you can party. We saw a little bar up there. Uh, viewing distance is 57 miles and it's got 3 million pounds of steel. All kinds of souvenirs. Yeah, I already got my souvenir. Motorama, pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. We spent a good two hours in there total. Um, I don't know how long it took us to get around. Maybe what, 30 minutes? Probably something like that. But let's go find something to eat because I smell a lot of good food. Now, now we had the fish and chips before in Las Vegas at the uh, Gordon Ramsay and it was really good. Tempting to want to do it again. But there's so many other places that we haven't had. I don't know, we're gonna look around, we'll see. We'll see. And that's what we rode today. And we have an old red in Gatlinburg, so I'm not interested in doing that because we could do that at home. Yeah, so we're going to do Uncle Julio's for for lunch. A booth. If you So they have enchiladas and more. They have grilled fajitas. That sounds good. Um, here's their sides here. They have quesadillas, uh, house guacamoles, tacos. I might be in some tacos. Maybe some fish tacos. Yeah, they got steak fajita bowls. There's so much to choose from. I'm not sure exactly what I want to get. Yeah, so we got some chips, um, some salsa. Now, they said this here is the mild. And then that's the hot over there. And you ordered uh, Cobb salad? Cobb salad. I ordered the steak fajita bowl. So out of these two, which ones are your favorite? Probably the hot. You like this one here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got definitely a heavy onion taste to that one. Now, usually when we're here in Orlando, this place is crazy busy. You can't get any of the restaurants, like over an hour wait. But today it's perfect, you know. Um, we're able to get in for lunch, got right on the wheel, got to walk through the aquarium without being, you know, too busy and crazy. And they brought out another great big um, milk jug, I guess, of, of water. And this here is my steak bowl. Looks really good, got little tortillas. Uh, looks like there's some tomatoes in there, steak, sour cream on there, and look at Dawn's Southwest, Southwest Cobb salad. We've got bacon, some cheese, tomato, avocado, avocado, eggs, I think it's corn. Yeah, some roasted corn. Wow, that looks really good. That's a great, great lunch. And I can't wait to get into this bowl. And it's hot, right? It comes out hot. We got the bacon over there too. Yeah. Tomatoes. Mmm. Wow, really good. They put a lot of steak in this bowl too. 
Uh, so there's some rice in here, tomatoes. And our total was 38, 34. Not too bad. So that was Uncle Julio's and the chef came up to us and asked us how we liked it. It was amazing. It was, it was really good. Uh, it's a chain. He says the nearest one to us would be in Nashville, in yeah. Brentwood. That would be the nearest one for us. But I do recommend it. Uh, it's fresh mech, so what they, they said that everything is made in house. Uh, very good, mine was super fresh. Mine was too. Those onions were super fresh. You know what I'm saying? Don't let me. need a breath mix. Yeah, yeah, I do need a breath mix because those onions are like real powerful. And they also have a Sloppy Joe's. We've been to the one in Key West. We've been to the one in um, Daytona Beach. Um, but we've never been to the one here in Orlando. We've also been to the one over in, in Tampa, too, or over in near Treasure Island. We've been to that one. We had a good day today at Icon Park. Lots of great things to do. We've done the sea life. We did a, a Madame Tussauds, yeah. or Madame Tussauds, uh, in Nashville. That was a lot of fun. And we got to do the wheel. So we got to do two out of three. Ah, fun, fun. So what did you think about this visit to Icon Park? It was good. We had a successful day. We went to the aquarium. We did the wheel. We did the, um, the food was good. Food was really good. Uh, my favorite part was the wheel. I thought it was really awesome. Uh, I thought it was awesome to see all the different sites. And um, I like the fact that you're the only one in it. That's cool. I don't know if that's always like that, but it was for us.